We're going to show you how to turn off Find My iPad and how to do an iCloud backup. First thing we need to do is to go into the settings. And you'd be looking under iCloud. To turn off Find My iPad, we just need to switch that section over. And then we would have to put in our password. Obviously, I'm not going to do that now, as you would know my password. But that's the process of being able to turn off Find My iPad. To find out the last time that your iPad was backed up, all you have to do is click Storage and Backup. And you have the little button that says Backup Now in blue. And underneath it, it tells you when it was last backed up. So I can see that this was done yesterday at 9.34. I have enough battery life that I can just click Backup Now and run it. And it may take a minute or so, but it will update whatever changes have been made since yesterday. And that's how you turn on, turn off find my iPad and do an iCloud backup. What so we need to do to make sure that your iPad is in good condition is we need to actually charge it. So what we're looking for is in the upper right hand corner does that white icon go from white to green. That's our indicator that it is going to happen. So when I plug it in I can see that it has gone from white to green, therefore the battery is able to charge. If we were to look at your cord, we should see that there's no cuts or nicks in the cord exposing any wires. Okay, we're going to just check to make sure that your iPad is turned in in the same condition that we gave it to you at the beginning of the school year. So we may just take a look at it, we might flip it over, just checking to make sure that all the ports are clear, there's no scratches or dings to it. We also will check to make sure that if we hit the power button up top that it comes on. We'll also check to make sure that we have sound coming out of it. So we may play a quick video just to test that out. And all we need to do is just prove that sound's coming out of it. We'll also check to make sure the home button is doing what it needs to do. Another one of the steps in checking out the iPad is to make sure that the camera is working. So we'll have it turned on and we'll select the camera icon. And we'll just take a quick picture just to prove that it is working. When you turn in your iPad, we need to make sure nothing is left inside of it. So make sure that there's nothing in any of the pockets. So we want to make sure that it is cleaned out. If all the criteria is met, then your iPad is ready to be checked in.